Allison here for a special entry to my audio journal. Today I'll be reviewing Handbook for Pre-Clears by L. Ron Hubbard. If you are new to our channel, I'll just fill you in briefly on what we are all about. As the name DIY Salvation suggests, we are focused on helping to resolve your mental and spiritual condition while working by yourself. No therapist or minister. No organization to answer to no outrageous sums of money to lay out. Our main focus is on a spiritual recovery system known as TROM, which stands for the resolution of the mind. Though TROM does have its roots in Scientology, and borrows some of its terminology, the two subjects are not the same thing. The Church of Scientology forbids its members from practicing TROM. The idea of reaching a full resolution of one's mind working by one's self violates their salvation for sale business model. That said, it doesn't hurt to know a little bit about the older subject in order to better understand the newer one. So I'm putting up this review at the request of some of our viewers. Handbook for Pre-Clears is an early Scientology workbook with mental and spiritual exercises aimed at reducing the influence of the reactive mind on the individual. The reactive mind was the focal point of Hubbard's better-known work Dianetics, The Modern Science of Mental Health. It's the hidden, irrational mind of the individual that stores incidents of trauma known as engrams. When a situation approximates the content of one of these engrams, it brings the reactive mind into play, overriding one's free will and causing them to react according to the dictates of the engram. When one of these engrams is stimulated in such a way, it's said to form a lock on one's analytical mind, which is the rational mind that the person is aware of. In Dianetics, a mental study which later evolved into what we now know as the spiritual practice of Scientology, there is a practitioner known as an auditor who helps to handle these engrams with the goal in mind of producing what's called a clear, someone who is no longer influenced by their reactive mind. The person he works on is called a pre-clear. It's not terribly hard to understand this all. One is bitten by a dog and now has an engram of the dog bite. Later on, he sees a similar dog and that forms a lock on his analytical mind. Both the lock and the engram are harmful to his mental and spiritual condition. An auditor, using Dianetics, can have the pre-clear in a session, review that incident of the dog bite and the effects of the bite and the time he saw that similar dog go away. The next time he sees a similar dog, there won't be any reaction because the trauma or engram has been addressed. But this process requires two people. The techniques used in handbook for preclears do not. According to Hubbard, while the direct address of engrams is not possible without a separate practitioner, the locks, or moments when the engrams are brought into play, can be addressed working on one's own. It's done using a technique called lock scanning, where one reviews specific moments from his past, from earliest to most recent, where events occurred, emotions were experienced, and decisions were made. This is the primary focus of the work. Included in this work is a chart called the Chart of Attitudes. This chart takes aspects of life like survival, emotion and responsibility and plots them against levels of spiritual awareness showing what attitude one will have about what aspect of life at a given level of awareness. Performing lock scanning on each level and of each attitude on this chart in regards to yourself and others can bring about a great deal of relief to the spiritual being. The book also explores other aspects of life like the nature of blame, shame and regret, the effects of decisions you've made in life, and some valuable data on psychosomatic illnesses. Handbook for Preclears will not bring about a total resolution of your mental and spiritual condition, and Hubbard even says so in the book. For the trauma, it provides an insight into some of the earlier theories and techniques used that led to the more advanced methods developed by Dennis Stevens. For the Scientologist, 
it offers a way one can get some immediate benefit without having to pay an auditor a large sum of money. You can use Handbook for Pre-Clears without becoming a member of the Church of Scientology. But if you are pursuing Scientology on a self-study basis, I highly recommend you try Self-Analysis first, which we also review on this channel. If you are a trauma and wish to try any of this, I can't caution you enough that if you do, then make sure you use this book per Hubbard's instructions, and not mix any of Dennis's techniques with it. You do TROM when you are doing TROM, and Scientology when you are doing Scientology, and if you cross the two, you are playing with fire. Keep what you are doing and in what session separate. Trying these techniques, even if just to satisfy your curiosity will in no way hinder your TROM progress, but if you decide, for example, to use Hubbard's technique of lock scanning on TROM level 4 instead of following Dennis's instructions on how to handle the incidents that will manifest, I can assure you, you're going to wind up with a pretty tangled psyche. Don't cross Trom and Scientology. I trust I've made my point. Thanks for listening today. I'm Alison Tandry. We are DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind. Resolve it.